it's a very unfortunate situation um but obviously you know it's very common um and you know it hasn't been easy dealing with this for the amount of time i've been dealing with it what's up guys it's a girl river and i am back again with another video now if you guys don't know who this woman on the screen is her name is erica mena she is a um reality tv star um as well as a former um video model she was married to um safari who many of us know from his previous relationship with rapper Nicki minaj as well as him also being a reality tv star now, the two of them were married and whenever, um, you know, the relationship ultimately did not work out and the two of them broke up, Erica Mena constantly went on, you know, continuous smear campaigns, constantly talking about how Safari was, um, you know, not a good father. He was a deadbeat dad, you know, never uh, being around or supporting his children. I got to sit back and watch my kids literally suffer already as it is because you're their dad and recently very recently um i covered the story in which safari actually spoke out um for the first time you know talking about anything in regards to his relationship with his ex-wife erica mena and not only did he tell his side of the story he also showed home video footage of her doing um you know very disrespectful distasteful Things. Like this is this is real life because kids are involved and this deadbeat narrative it's like it's just it's just so jarring to me. It it does give me a headache sometimes, but then you know um I'm pretty good at just brushing things off but you know people who know me and especially know my situation <clears throat> they're like yo how long are you gonna stay quiet So after that video footage was released, you know, Erica Mena ended up making a post on Instagram and this post read, I find myself in a state of deep astonishment and sorrow that our situation has deteriorated to this point. It's truly heartbreaking to realize how far we've come. Every situation is ultimately tied to a cause which inevit inevitably leads to effects. Nonetheless, it is crucial that I put an end to this turmoil. I am committed to taking the initiative to stop this, and I believe it would be beneficial for both parties to do so. Our children are the center of my world and the lights of my life. I am determined to rely on the justice system to navigate these proceedings, trusting that it will guide us toward a fair and just resolution. We are blessed with two beautiful children who deserve a stable and nurturing environment. As I move forward, I will continue to prioritize their long-term well-being and future happiness, signed Erica Mena. Now, I thought this was very interesting, okay? Because, again, she has gone on constant smear campaigns. It's almost as though, you know, any time that Safari seems that he is, you know, kind of happy or somewhat having fun, she comes to the internet and she tries to slander his name all over again. Before you guys get scammed like I did <laughs> by this waste man overnight wannabe prophet. You know, she can't talk about the fact that he doesn't want to be in a relationship anymore. So the only point that she has to use against him is the way in which he parents his children. Now, Safari already cleared that up, stating that he refuses to do any pickups or drop offs with her. You know, he is going through the court system to allow them to have a drop off or pick up point um, because he does not want to deal with possible altercations from her end um, and putting himself into, you know, predicaments that could be, you know, for lack of better words, unsafe. I refuse to go to her house to pick up the kids. 
I refuse. I'm not. She, it's just too unstable, too unpredictable. And the only way I would do it is either a police precinct or if the kids are somewhere else and I'm picking them up from there. Right. And so I thought it was interesting that she made this post because it's okay when she does it. And this is something that a lot of bitter exes, a lot of bitter baby mamas do. You know, it's okay if they are slandering your name. It's okay if they're speaking against you. If they're, It's okay if they have, you know, negative things to say about you. But the minute that, you know, Safari um, spoke out and exposed her behavior, right? Because his words would have not been enough. If Safari came out and just spoke about the situation, that would not have been enough. Everybody has already decided to you know accompany her story because she's constantly talking about it and he's never defended himself the fact that he placed that home footage in the video and exposed her out there in ways that she never thought that she would have been exposed all of a sudden she's ready to you know retreat from the drama all of a sudden you know she doesn't want to be involved in um you know the demise of of uh you know or the d deterioration of their co-parenting situation all of a sudden right miraculously you know the drama's over everything is done she don't want to talk about it she has nothing to complain about they're going to work through it that was her first initial post right and then a couple of days later she decided to um, make a post on social media in which she has both of her children around her singing some gospel song um, by the looks of it in their bathroom. Now, this is how you know that um, she is trying to do damage control based off of everything that was presented on social media because we've never seen her do anything like that before. You know, it's been talked about from many different blog sites on TikTok, on, you know, people's different social medias that they've never seen, you know, her portray herself in a certain way. But then shockingly, you know, miraculously, after that whole situation unfolded, now she has her children in a certain space and she's exposing that part of her on the Internet. Right. It's almost like, you know, what's the saying? Like, oh, now you got to, you know, um, shake some hand and kiss some babies like that. That's what that whole post was trying to signify. But even further than that, she decided to post on um, her Instagram story kind of like um, all of a sudden backtracking the statement that she made on her post and then ultimately defending herself as if we did not see what we saw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play to that video and then I'm going to pause it and play and give you guys my thoughts, my feelings, my opinions on this entire situation. So I just had to come on here and just thank everybody who's been reaching out to me. Um, I actually have been so overwhelmed in the last 48 hours with the people who have been reaching out for me um, in the industry alone. Artists, actors, actresses, producers, directors, um, head executives at these networks um, who are seeing through, you know, it all. Um okay, not to stop it so early on, but this sounds like foolishness. Okay, I'm just going to keep it real with you. This sounds like foolishness. This sounds like, um, you know, let me say this so people believe that I have a lot of other people on my side and that he's not winning the quote unquote battle that we're having on social media. Let me just, you know, uh, name drop certain uh, positions, right? Uh, people who run networks, actors, actresses, musicians, like let me name drop certain people so it can confuse the crowd. So people will believe that I have a lot of support garnered behind me. Although you guys just saw this humiliating video that I did by my own actions that, you know, played out how toxic our situation really was. But I'm going to let her continue. Um, you guys have actually been key in just getting me through this mayhem. It's a very unfortunate situation, um, but obviously, you know, it's very common. Um, and, you know, it hasn't been easy dealing with this for the amount of time I've been dealing with it. Um, it's not easy dealing with a non-confrontational situation that starts a lot of confrontation. 
So she is the one, again, who is at the forefront. We saw the video. As a matter of fact, let me put another clip of the video just in case, I, just in case I'm confused. We see that she's the one who is partaking in these actions. We see the one that, that she is the one who is, you know, uh, instigating these altercations. Right. And when I say instigating, nobody can't make you do nothing that you don't want to do. If you are not a person, if you are in control of yourself, nobody can force you out of yourself and cause you to do things. All of a sudden, she's having the conversation in the viewpoint as if she's the victim. What? This is the this is the level of delusion that a lot of these women experience. And I say that with no disrespect, I'm being completely honest. A lot of these women are the ones who will sit there swinging. They are cause they are the ones that are creating hell, literally. But somehow, even when the mirror is turned to them and they are exposed for their actions, they will find a way to try to prove to everybody else and themselves that they are the victim. Because they know they can violate, disrespect, provoke just to get a reaction out of you. So it has been a lot. And this actually goes outside of industry. I have a lot of women and men who are pouring their heart out to me, um, showing me, you know, a couple of them have actually showed me videos and stuff that was put out on their behalf um, and gave me the backstory on what caused their reaction to what was put out there. But, you know, it's actually very common um, unfortunately, where you get caught up with certain situations um, that use your your real devoted, genuine feelings against you. Um, they play the mind games. They, you know, take it there where they disrespect you. They violate you. They provoke you, cause you to, you know, rage. And then when you finally react, you know, it's hide hands. They're innocent. That's just kind of, you know, how they want things to be perceived, which is fine. It's not fine because, and the reason why it's not fine is because you're not getting the point. The whole point, right, in healing, in growth, in elevation, in maturity is realizing that the only person who can cause you to come out of character is you. There's no level of, pro if you are not a, a person who is confrontational, if you are not about the drama, if that is not already in you, nobody can not bring it out of you. Now, I can understand where people will become different versions of themselves in like life or death situations. I completely understand that. I've, you know, I've seen the nicest people that if, if it's, you know, their life on the line, they're going to do their best to try to defend themselves. That's a different conversation. But you see, when you are somebody who has a trigger button, there is, there's a lot of things that people can do to trigger you. You know, saying the things like, oh, you know, if somebody provokes you, if somebody, you know, again, presses your buttons, if somebody steps on your toes, you know, what does that even mean? Because provoking you can be not being in a relationship with you when you want to be in a relationship with them. Pressing your buttons or provoking you or disrespecting you can be them telling you that I can no longer engage with you because of your toxic behavior and you're not willing to take no for an answer. Like, we have to get down to the nitty-gritty of these, of these things. There's no way that you can stand here after people have seen this video and this is your way of damage control. Who is her PR person? Because this, was, this should not have been released as a part of the conversation. It's better that she just didn't say nothing at all or she just, you know, apologized for her actions or the way that she appeared in that situation. But trying to spin the narrative and now acting like the people who have seen this video are delusional or, or we did not see what we saw is crazy. But this is actually more common, unfortunately, than I even thought. I've also been blessed enough to have two individuals on social media who advocate for this type of, you know, um... I don't want to say the word because then people are going to take it and think that I want to play victim. But at the end of the day, you know, um, that advocate for this type of treatment. Treatment. She wanted to say 
that there are these two people who I lean on who advocate for this type of abuse. This woman has all the audacity in the world. <laughs> okay? You have, honey, you have all the audacity. And the reason why I speak out against this so, so firmly and so strongly is because, you know, constantly women are doing things, right? And they're putting themselves in spaces. And if you want to grow through this situation or if you want to be able to effectively actually move on and get into a relationship with somebody else, you have to realize what it is that you're doing. You have to acknowledge the foolishness because all of this is foolishness. Saying what he's doing is abuse in any of the sort is foolishness. We saw you do it. If he said whatever he said, we saw him on the phone with the police. And what was when he was on the phone with the police, what were you trying to do? You were trying to get the phone away from him. You were trying to fight him. And then you started to break up all the stuff in his house. Ironically, you know, why I found this very ironic is because I even covered the interview that Erica Mena did with um, Cam Newton. And in that interview, you know, she was very forthcoming with how she is. Right. She was like, oh, well, you know, when he got with me, he knew I was crazy. So I don't know why it was such a shock to him. He knew I was crazy. Mm. He knew I turned up. Mm. If you are able to call yourself crazy. That means that you can fly off the handle for anything. We've seen her fly off the handle uh, with all kind of various situations, even on, um, uh, you know, her reality TV shows, Love and Hip Hop, New York or Miami. We've seen her get into multiple physical altercations. Bitch, go back to Bitch, Eric, no, sin, f*** with me. F*** with me, sin. Yo, you put your hands on me, Eve. Bitch, I will get the f*** with my too. Don't do it. Not gonna do is poke the beast out of hibernation. That's what you're not gonna do. But if you want to, bitch, do it. So that means that it's not an everybody else problem, it's a you problem. That's something that you have a hard time doing. You might have anger issues. You might need to speak to somebody about your anger issues. You might need to go into anger management. You might have some deep-rooted emotional trauma that peeks its head out and, and allows you to, um, you know, transform into this monster because certain things are triggering you and you can't get your way all the time. Can we be honest about these things? Because there's so many men have, who have experienced these situations from women that you can't, you know, come out here and say these things and act like people are just, you know, blind or everyone is lied to or confused. Men who watched that, that video, they dealt with women like that. There's nothing you could tell them. <laughs> they already know what it is. They can see the behavior patterns from a mile away. They know exactly what Safari dealt with. Because a lot of men have dealt with women who are similar to that or are constantly or are, or are continually going through that with certain women in their lives at the present. This type of play, um, I'm going to tag them right here. Um, one of which, Lee Hamilton, big up to you. He's actually, uh, you know, He's been diagnosed with um, narcissistic disorder and um, he reached out to me after seeing the video um, and he sees between the lines, which a lot of people do. And he said, this is exactly what I used to do. And we had long conversations which have been so helpful. So if you see yourself, you know, in this situation, these are the two to follow. I'm confused. I'm confused. There's no way that after that video is released that you should be talking about anybody's behavior in that video besides your own. There's no way. Like, accountability runs from these women. Like, it, look, it takes off running in the opposite direction. There's no way that you can see that video play out on social media and your first thought is to call him abusive and call him a narcissist. The other person that is definitely a must follow is um, Lisa. What I love about having my conversation with her is um, 
she came across it as well and same thing it's relatable you know a lot of people are seeing themselves in my shoes which is so unfortunate um you know where it's like okay this was all done but what did you do kind of thing no this is just my personal opinion no shade to the people that she's talking about you know no shade to them i don't know these people i have nothing to do with whatever it is that they got going on i don't even know what they do no shade but if a woman can see you in this situation and defend your actions or behaviors, although you are, you're telling her something different, but visually she is seeing your actions play out in front of your small children, that is crazy. That don't make no sense. If a woman sees herself in you, then she might have the same issues or traumas that you have. She might also need to go through the same transformative help or growth that you need to go through. And this is the problem that I think, you know, happens with the sisterhood. And, you know, not only is it there that there are sisterhood, there's also male sisterhood allies who defend the foolish behavior, who defend the toxicity. And it's not allowing these women to grow in the way that they actually should. You see, if everybody looked at her and said, you're tripping. It don't matter what, when, how. It don't matter what he said. It don't matter who. It don't matter nothing. Look at you. How can anybody allow you to, how, how can you allow anybody to make you get to this place? The onus is on you. You see, if everybody said that, it would force women to grow. It would force them to. But because they have one or two people who are looking friendship, one or two people who were trying to slide in the DMs and be her next man, <laughs> you know, it, 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 furth it furthers the foolishness. Um, what I love about her is she's actually been in my actual shoes like many of us. And she is, you know, advocating hard for women to just see the signs to avoid this stuff. Um, and you know, if you're in the situation, how to get out of it, because it is very draining. It does play ugly head game with you. And it's, it's, it's a lot to deal with, especially when you have kids involved. We saw you with a ladder at this man's house in the middle of the night. Just in case you forgot, like, just in case you forgot that we saw that, what could have led to you showing up to this man's house in a bra, shorts, and some chanclas on? With a random ladder hopping the fence, knocking on his sliding door. What what game could have led to that? What could have led to you sending a photo of this man while the two of you were being intimate to his mother and his sister? A naked picture of me to my mother and my sister because she wanted to let them know that Oh, you're, you and your, your son, I'm pretty sure your son's not telling you what's really going on between us and all of this other nonsense. So anyway, I am relieved to its highest capacity um, that because I knew for years, like people aren't going to believe me. I'm dealing with a non-confrontational situation that really starts all this confrontation. You start the confrontation. You start the confrontation. Because you can be upset, be silent, and leave. When, whatever, when, when the two of you got into any kind of disagreement, your kids were already packed up. You could have left the house. In fact, he was asking you to leave the house when he called the police, and you resorted to violence before just leaving. So is he turning the situation confrontational or are you <laughs> like, what is it? That's not, what's not clicking. That provokes, that violates, that disrespects and make sure you feel it to its full capacity so that this way you can lose yourself and react in, in, in whatever way that moment is. Um, but now that, you know, I see, I, I'm getting all these people, industry, not industry, who are letting me know they've either been there, done that, or they read between the lines, or they know what's up. This has, is such a relief. Um, it hasn't been easy, but I'm so grateful. <laughs> so again, before I go, thank you, 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 thank you to everyone who knows what's up. 
Um, all of you who are reaching out, making me feel not alone um, in the sense of like, I've been there. I know what you're going through. Um, all the advice I've been getting. Um, the love has really been really stand up. Again, I don't feel alone anymore. <laughs> this is actually more common. Unfortunately, my circumstance is so ugly, but it's, it, it's, it's a relief to know that I'm not the only woman or man who has dealt with this type of situation. Um, when your feelings are just used against you and you're violated because the person knows that, you know, especially when they know you're still in the healing phase, um, the mind games, all of that stuff as, as humans, it, 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 there, there, there's endpoints. And Y'all had to scratch my head on that one because you're you're saying that you don't feel alone and that it's so extremely common and you're the victim. All of a sudden. All of a sudden, you're the one that is the victim in this situation. If we slip, if we switch this story around, right, and it was a man and a woman in this situation. And the man um was the one who was the aggressor in all these situations. The man was the one who took a picture of his ex-wife and sent it to her, uh, you know, mother and her sister, or in that case, her father and her brother. If it was a man in this situation, there would be absolutely no understanding. People would automatically say, he's a problem, he's the issue, he's a this, he's a that. So how is it now when it's the other woman, when it's the woman who's in this situation and she's the aggressor, that she gets the opportunity to play the victim and people are running with it. According to her. I mean, from what I see on social media, I don't see anybody who's in, in support of what it is that she's doing. Maybe her friends and her fan base, but the majority of the people I see on social media are like, girl, this is foolishness. Girl, you tripping. Girl, you don't took it too far. And again, there was a situation um, that, you know, uh, Safari had video footage of her arguing with somebody else in front of her children, and it wasn't Safari. You're dead to me. You're dead to me. Yeah, you are. Fuck you. You're dead. You are dead. You're 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 dead. you so you're saying that you know you're only reacting this way because of this situation but there are multiple situations that you've gone into you've gotten into altercations with other people who were not him and you still reacted in the same exact manner you said started a conversation and said look The common denominator in, in, in that situation is you. But somehow, some way, it has nothing to do with, with, with you. It has to do with everybody else around you. Everybody else the problem, you're not the problem. Everybody else did it, you ain't do nothing. And this, you know, you can clearly tell... Obviously, I think it's very, very transparent. If you're a logical person, it's very, um, you know, obvious to tell what the issue was in their marriage, why they got divorced, and also who is the problem in the situation. But also, you know, ironically, Safari had posted another video after his initial video, and he was basically saying like, oh, you know, he wanted to just keep the peace. You know, he, he basically was, uh, you know, putting his armor down. He's everything is cool. Everyone is fine. And uh, he just wants to move forward and create a, a good environment for his children, similar to the same post that she made on social media. And it's almost like because he's not, you know, trying to continue with the confrontation, hence why she's now doing all this backpedaling. Hence why she's like, oh, you know, I was going to come out being apologetic, but now I'm not apologetic. And now actually he's the one who started all this. And you guys just don't know the full story of why you're seeing what you saw. So I'm trying to figure out who's playing the mind games. Could it be? I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this entire situation. 
Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.